What's up, everybody? Welcome back once again to Holding in the Road, Mr. Gray Fox, my main man, Big Bad Harold. All right. Today, we want to introduce the world to a bully with a badge that goes by the name of Christopher Police out of Sunrise, Florida. Sunrise, Florida. You ever heard of him? Uh-uh. Check him out. Can I We're trying to take a man named Jean Similien into custody. In the body camera video, you can actually hear Similien being difficult. He says his leg is cramping up at one point. He actually even threatens officers. And they're struggling at one point to get him into a car. And that is when Sergeant Christopher Police pulls up to the scene. Police has been with the department at this point for 21 years, and he sort of escalates things. He points his pepper spray in Similien's face. He says, a lot of things that you're going to hear in just a moment, but that's when a female officer runs up, grabs police by his belt, pulls him backwards away from Similien, who is already in the back of the car, and then police turns around, and if you watch this video we're about to show you closely, he actually grabs her by the throat before moving his hand to her shoulder, and you can actually listen to the entire encounter now as well. Take a listen and watch very carefully. Get Just in the get car. In the car. All right, I'm getting in. Get your feet in. What's up? Hey, 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 look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You want to games? You play with the You got to do, man. You going to mace me, mace me. Look at me. You want to play You ever get disrespectful again? Remove your soul from your body. You want to do it, man. Do what you got to do. Don't ever touch me again. Get the he 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 just jumps out of the damn car, comes move everybody out of the way, and he gets up in there after the dude is in the car. Now you yeah, see yeah. that he was, he was in the ready car. to act the fool. Yeah, yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But my whole point is, is 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 that is a bully with a badge. Oh yeah. You get oh, what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, he ain't got no business being no damn police officer. Could could you imagine the things that he's done when he's off by himself? He ain't lying. And yeah. he just got somebody pulled over. Oh yeah. That's yeah. why I say, you know what I'm saying? The the best way because he got the upper hand. He got the complete upper hand when he pull you over. And he get to talking all kinds of reckless and crazy about what he'll do, you know what I mean, no matter what he say. Yeah, yeah. So the best thing to do is to just hey, look here, don't fuss, don't fight, don't flee. Hopefully you survive that encounter and you can go make your complaint. And you can raise all kinds of hell then. But see, the problem about this is we don't wait to start complaining about, about cops like this until they actually beat and kill somebody. Pretty much, yeah. Then you got to look back and, and everybody in the, part, in the department know what type of person he is. And salute to the to the officer that pulled him out of that situation. Yeah, she's she probably like, like, then he told everybody to turn their damn... They, they they the camera. Camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the senior officer. What type of example are you setting to the rest of these officers out here? You get what I'm saying? And yeah. then yeah, they probably alienate the officer that actually done the right thing. Oh, yeah. You already know that. Yeah, that's you how I go. Saying? Oh, yeah. So, so like I say, it's, it's situations like this. When it comes to raising hell as a community, you need to be raising hell right now by a guy like this before he beat and ran up on somebody's son. You get what I'm saying? And killed him. Mm -hmm. And now everybody trying to justify and, and, and get rid of all of this evidence talking about how good of a police officer he is and all this. This guy is a piece of shit. Oh, yeah. I don't give a damn what he done. He a piece. I don't care how long you've been on the force. He a piece of shit. He never should have even been allowed to wear the uniform or represent uh law enforcement at all bro no his attitude is it's too out of place when you can't control your anger you know you can't even control a situation you know a cop's supposed to de-escalate that situation Absolutely. from what it looks like was already handled oh, all yeah, he needed yeah. to do is come there yeah. and supervise you know y'all yeah. okay you know talk yeah. to the other officers yeah he didn't yeah. have to engage the suspect yeah you know yeah. and um and like you said his own friendly comrade in blue he ready to choke her so mm -hmm. 
and she's a woman, you know. So it's like if if you that aggressive to your own your partner, you know, you like you said, you you definitely a public menace, man. He he done did all type of dirt throughout his career. He had to, you know. I'd be surprised if he didn't. Actually, show uh, a couple of different angles of different body cam videos mm -hmm. of how he approached the scene. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, this is the type of dude that another officer make a mistake do some do something dirty and they come to him to get advice about how to you clean understand what I'm saying? Yeah, how yeah, to yeah. clean it up oh yeah oh yeah this this guy's no good to the community he's no good to the police force he's no he's no good to nothing he is the type of officer to give good police officers bad names definitely definitely you get what i'm saying this is this is he is a a representative of the absolute problem that people have with law enforcement oh, yeah. here you have a situation that's already handled it's already handled and he come up there like he the damn terminator a damn goldberg or some damn body you know what i mean just just bullying everybody out of the way that's what i'm saying this is a bully with a badge oh, ain't yeah. nothing worse than a damn a bully with a badge is extremely dangerous yeah, he... The video that we talked about uh, the other day, you know, the Carl Pukins of the world uh -huh. that, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's out here in the community. Extra arrogant, you know. You, you understand what I'm saying? Entitled, See, all that. They know people like this jackass is on the force. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And like I say, the other police officers know how he is. I salute that one female police officer that had the courage. Get out of here, man. Yeah. And she don't have been with the department three years. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? She probably know him and know that, hey, look here, she can she can mess around and just, he can mess around and just make this whole situation worse than what you know it got to be. Mean? Worse than what it got to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and here go another thing, Harold. The girl that we was talking about that, you know, the last video. Uh, imagine, Wallace, yeah. Imagine if he would have been out there <sighs> and you doing, and you doing all of that. That, that would have been one of those times, like we said, she probably wouldn't have survived that encounter. Absolutely. So with somebody like that, yeah, yeah. That could have been aggression on aggression. You know, you just seen that video where that guy was literally just he already handcuffed, he verbally saying stuff, but he ain't even he ain't even been disrespectful. And she was being disrespectful and moving. Yeah, he he would have he would have tried to do some worse than her. You know, the fact that he even said cut your body cameras off, that says I'm about to do something I shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. Something real unlawful. And uh it, it's just bad to see when cops do that. It, you know, it's even worse when you see them do it to the, you know, their fellow officers, somebody that's actually trying to do do right, because right is right, wrong is wrong. It's just, uh, that that's not what we want out here, man, in and, and, and none of our communities. We need somebody to protect and serve like they're supposed to. We want you to take pride in your job, and we don't want it just to be a job. We want you to be passionate about your job. You know, it's other jobs that you can just, hey, this is just a job. That job isn't one of them. That, it, to be a law enforcement officer, it, you should have way more pride, man. I, the even the qualifications got to be better than what it is, man. They need more psych tests, all kind of things, man. A lot more training. We, oh, we yeah. can't have wild animals out there. Oh yeah, and that's exactly what he is—a damn wild rabbit dog that's oh, out yeah. there with a badge and a gun and feel like he can kill anybody and he can intimidate anybody that he wants to. Oh yeah. And see another reason, like I said, you know, with black folks, what what we saying is. This this dude was just out there fighting people. Yeah. Do he deserve to go to jail? Oh yeah. You know what I mean for whatever he did. And like I said, I don't know what he actually did, but it was said that you know he was out there hitting people in a, and attacking people in front of a convenience store or something. Yeah. They called the police on him. Well, he just out there fighting people. And you got somebody out just run up to him, and like I said, they bleeped it all out, man. But he was he was talking some cash shit, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, and like I say. You have people that run up in churches and kill people. You have people yeah. that run up and down grocery stores and kill people. Yeah. I mean, you have, you know, just just schools and they're um, bought out. They're bought out peacefully. Yeah. Placed in the back of a car. You know what I mean? And it's like, wait a minute, man. Damn. So y'all do know how to do your job. But when it comes down to black folks, you got to deal with this shit. Yeah. And you got to deal with people like him. And like I say, he is an absolute representative of the problem that's in these police departments that's all over the nation. Yeah. Salute to 
the woman, the police officer, that did the right thing by pulling him off of that situation. Oh, yeah, she was creating the situation. She was. You, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Salute her. We need more women, more people like her to represent law enforcement. Oh, yeah. Get what I'm saying? And we don't need uh, jackasses like uh, Christopher Police. You yeah. know what I mean? So you know, uh, that, you know, if, if she's in one of those departments, they might try to shun her since uh, she's not go- doing what the other gang do, what the rest of us do. You know, uh, but hopefully, hopefully she's in a good situation. You said that happened in November, so yeah, that happened in November. Hopefully she's still in a good situation because they need to breed that man. That's, that's her being a good cop. That's her being human. You know. Uh, the situation to handle, man, you ain't got to act that nasty. It's certain people that's out there that we want cops to act nasty to, you know? But that guy doing a simple fight wasn't one of them. Like a mass you know? shooter. A mass shooter. We want yeah, you to be as nasty as you oh, want to Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right. Go for it. Right. Give, give him the you business. Know? You know yeah. what I mean? But for some odd reason, like I say, they, uh, uh, the, the boy that walked up there and, and, and killed the uh, people in the church. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You know, you go get him some damn food. Yeah. You understand? So... Like I say, man, it's it's and he has been charged. He has been charged. Uh I think they charged him with they charged him with battery on the law enforcement office. Yeah, they should. Or have. something like that. You know, they should uh, have. I wouldn't even be surprised if the female officer still on the force, bro. You know what I mean? Could you imagine that? <laughs> you know, uh, you know, the whole department is is you know, getting this type of attention because of they probably blame it on her instead of on him. Oh yeah, putting the blame on him where yeah. it should be. Yeah. You know, so and then it's sad that our cops have to deal with that type of stuff. Oh yeah, you know they they trying to do what's right and you need to level. Mm-hmm. You know that, like I said, that is the whole job. That's why the uh, I forgot what it's called the IA or whoever investigates the the police. They need to let them do that, man, as much as possible. You mm-hmm. you just know telling what's going on in there. You know. Uh, and, and though and the whistleblowers and just it's a lot of people that try to do good things and uh like I said they shun they like you said she might be also for it because of all the you know the backlash and hate she getting from her own guys yeah you know? hopefully this get picked up by bigger platforms because I, I really it it shot past me I mean I ain't know anything about me I mean about it but uh I didn't I don't know if it's made any of the national news circuits but it's people like this yeah they give police officers a bad name you know what i mean and that's why i say the police need to police the police they need to and he is one of the ones that need to be police he don't need a badge he don't get another shot to me he don't get another shot and and you put this is something that that really pissed me off imagine being going out there and screwing up on your job and they walk up to you say hey look here man just 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 take some time off we'll pay you man it's just just, just go take your break. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. And you done screwed it up. You Big know what time. I mean. You got yeah. You got everybody out here looking bad. Uh, you know we got to go through all types of different training, and we got to talk to people, and we in meetings and all yeah, this yeah. other foolishness. You know they they changing procedures and all this stuff because of you. And they get you. We got to go. Th- you know we out here going through this. Yeah. But yeah. you know they no they give you as long as you need. Hey. Hey. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean, man? Hey, look at go out there, you know, have you some drinks, have you some barbecues or whatever. You know you, what I mean? You yeah, shouldn't okay. be rewarded for doing something bad. You just you shouldn't. Be rewarded. Nope. You, you can't do that, man. It just makes no sense. And yeah. you know, for that ain't even really a punishment if you think about it. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't. And to me, it's so disrespectful for co- for certain cops, the bad cops, to get off so easy when you you're you're an ex military guy. When you was in the military and you you had a failure. You couldn't do that. You couldn't bring the whole team down like that, man. It ain't mm-hmm. nothing happened to you. Mm-hmm. You know, something got something got to happen to you, man. Y'all, yeah. you train every day in the military to do a job. Why aren't our cops doing? Why aren't they as focused? Why aren't they as in shape? Why aren't they psyche evaluated more? It's just, it's so much, man. It's so much better they could be doing, man. Like well, said, that that good cop should be on the pedestal, man. They should be yeah. talking about. It. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The 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 woman. Yeah, that done what she did. You know it what I mean? Be on the she, oh yeah, man. You know yeah. what I mean? This is what you do in situations like this. The George Floyd situation. Yeah. Uh, the one guy was kneeling on his neck. That other jackass was on his back. Yeah. I mean, a simple, a, a simple. Hey, look here, man. We got him. 
Yeah. Stop. Get up. He, he ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Uh, Would have avoided that whole situation. It would have. It would have. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name that was up there. The big guy that got choked out. The one that the I can't breathe. That that whole campaign. Yeah, started. I know you're talking about. Yeah. The 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 the, the other officers that was up there. You know what I mean? Hey, loosen let up go. a little bit. Yeah. Let, you know let what I mean? Go. Yeah. This woman. The the situation hadn't even got to that point. She didn't and let she it. stepped in. Yep. You know she what I mean? Didn't even let it. You know yep. what I mean? Yep. Man, she deserved you know yep. some high praise. She was being she her brother's keeper. Praise. She was you being her mean? brother's keeper. Hey man, I'm not gonna let you screw up. Not in front of me, you're not. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what you got to do. Man. That's what you have to do. This is a clear example of a bully with a badge. He is a danger to everybody in the community. Oh yeah. Everybody should be upset. And uh, we all should pray that uh, he finds him something else to do. You know what I mean? This this dude would be a terrible Walmart greeter. You yeah. know what I mean? I wouldn't want this dude cutting my damn grass. No. You get what I'm saying? You're a bully. You know, you need help. Uh, for one, you need some jail time to sit back and think about it. Well, they probably well, yeah. He put his hands on that other officer, so yeah, yeah. It's you need a possibility, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. and 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 you possibly need you some counseling and some medicine. You know what I mean? And some, uh, I don't know. And, and to be honest, I really don't give a damn as long as he ain't got that bad. Get off the force. Oh, get yeah. off the force, man. Yeah, that's all I yeah. got for that, that man. You know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to just, uh, you know, give this guy the attention that he deserves and like i say i hope other uh platforms pick this guy up don't don't let it just fall off the wayside because that's that's one that really needs to be off the police force uh down there at sunrise yeah oh yeah y'all live right play fair i love us